Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. David Pugh. I am a staff scientist at the Cal State Visualization Core Laboratory. Today, I'm going to start a series of training videos on how to get um, the alpha fold uh, protein folding uh, prediction using deep learning uh, algorithm that was created by uh, DeepMind um, and won a lot of awards and gained much uh, notoriety um, a few years ago. I'm going to show you how to run their, uh, the official version of this code uh, on IBEX. So I'm going to break this up into a series of videos. This first video is going to focus uh, entirely on um, how to get the data files that you need in, in order to replicate their, uh, their paper. And then in some sequent videos, we're going to talk about how to create a conda environment uh, that encapsulates the software stack for uh, the AlphaFold uh, algorithm. And then we'll see how to run an interactive training job just to kind of test that the, the code is working properly. And then we'll see how to launch a batch job on IVEX that will uh, eventually replicate their entire, uh, their entire uh, workflow. So let's just get started. So first, so I have created a fork of the DeepMind research repo um, under the IBEX training um, uh, username on GitHub. So I'm going to use this fork of the DeepMind research code to add um, code files, uh, conda environment files, Slurm job scripts, things that are of, of use to uh, Cal IBEX users for replicating the DeepMind uh, research, not just AlphaFold, but any other of the research that people ask about. And so that's going to live in this repository. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to clone this repository on IBEX. So here I've already logged into IBEX and um, I have switched into my IBEX scratch directory. So that's where I like to clone my uh, clone projects. Um, so now the command to clone this repository, if you go and uh, click on code, and then you're gonna copy the git URL to clipboard. And then in your IBEX terminal, you'll just do git clone and the name of the repo. Now here, I've already obviously cloned the repo because I developed the repo um, and the changes necessary to run these things on IBEX. And so I've, I've contributed, I've, I've been working on that already. So it's already here. So once you've cloned it, then you just need to change into the DeepMind research directory. And then if you run ls-l, you'll see here are all of their, their research projects and all the code and everything like that. And today we're gonna to be focusing on or in this series of videos, rather, I'm going to focus on this AlphaFold uh, CASP 13. So let's go ahead and take a look at that project. Okay, so in the uh, the AlphaFold um, project, so this is the original version of their AlphaFold uh, protein uh, prediction, protein folding prediction algorithm. Um, using the CASP 13 data set from 2018 published in Nature. So there's links there to the, um, uh, the Nature paper and some instructions on how to get started. Now I've kind of left the instructions, you know, as I found them um, and, um, but as we'll see, we need to do things kind of slightly differently. And in fact, by the time you're watching this video, I may find it better to just go and remove the instructions that AlphaFold has provided, which don't actually work, um, at least on IBEX, and uh, replace them with their uh, Conda equivalents, which do work uh, when we get to that. But today, we're going to focus on getting the data. And so they have some instructions here um, about the data, um, some URLs that you can use to download the data, uh, a description of what is in the input data and a description of what is in the model checkpoints data. So both of these data sets are what we're going to, uh, what we're going to download. And so what I have done is in the bin directory here, I have um, added a download data.sbatch script. And this download data.sbatch script um, can be run with a single command. Um, so we can actually just copy this and then uh, PWD. So once we're in the DeepMind research directory, we can just copy and paste that. This is the command that we're actually going to launch uh, or we're going to run to launch a job that will download the data. So if we take a look at this, at this script, 
So this job script um, asks for uh, 12 hours of time, just a couple of CPUs, four gigs of memory. So we don't need that many resources um, to launch on the batch partition. And what it's going to do is it is going to uh, download the data, the AlphaFold CASP 13 data. So this is like a 43 gig uh, data archive. And then it's going to unzip that uh, that data archive into a um, data directory within the AlphaFold underscore CASP 13 uh, directory. And then it's going to do the same thing with the model weights. So it's going to grab the model weights data using wget. This is a much smaller data, uh, data file. And then it's going to unzip it to a weights directory. So um, this job, I asked for, uh, for 12 hours of time. Um, it may not take 12 hours, it might, but it will probably take more than six. Um, I've run this job a couple of times um, and got fairly wide degrees of, um, of speed, probably related to internet uh, connectivity speeds at the time that I ran the script. But I asked for 12 just to, just to be safe, uh, to make sure that there is no, um, no issues with the job completing before all the data has been downloaded and unzipped. Okay, so um, I'm not going to run this command because I've already actually run it. Um, and so I'm just going to control C that. But if we then list what is in the alpha fold directory, we'll see that um, there is a data directory here and a weights directory here. And so these are the two directories that will be created when you download and then unzip the files. And you can see here are the actual alpha fold files themselves that get downloaded. So there's the data, uh, the, and these are zipped archives. So this is the alpha fold CASP 13 data. It's about 46 gigs. And then these are the zipped alpha fold CASP 13 model weights and they're much, much smaller. Okay, and then they, they will get unzipped into this data directory and uh, weights directory respectfully once you launch the launch the job um, and as described in the readme file uh, in the repo here and um, this command here if you were to run that yourself Okay, great. So uh, go ahead and run that command, get that job running. And then after the, um, after the, the data has downloaded, then um, follow up with the next video, which will walk you through how to create the Conda environment that you'll need to um, replicate the software stack uh, for this project. Great, see you soon, bye.